Hey, what's up, guys? So me, Kevin, is going after a presidential candidate now. Yes, he's pretty much, quote unquote, exposed a guy who was running for president of the United States on the Republican side. His name is Vivek Ramaswamy. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. And it's very interesting for a number of reasons. Basically, to sum it all up, me, Kevin, is doing what I call the oldest trick in the book. I'm going to talk bad about you. I'm going to, quote unquote, expose you. And this is going to be my way to get you on my dying channel, because most of you guys know I've exposed uh, that this guy's channel is literally dying. Let's just pull it up right now and look. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. You got 1.8 million subscribers. You can't get 100K views on any video. That is a really small amount of views to get uh, relative to the amount of followers that you have. I mean, for crying out loud, 1.8 million people are subscribed to your channel and he's only getting 36k views right here 42k views here 48k 43k 29k 39 you guys get the point and i've explained numerous times as somebody who used to work in politics uh this guy is trying to get into politics because that's the new thing right now base and, and if you guys remember he he got on a live stream i don't know if you guys remember i mean me and kevin have done several live streams on my channel but i remember one live stream in particular I asked him when we were in the like the chill parts of the live stream, we weren't going at each other. I said, hey, how do you grow your channel in 2022 or 2023? Whenever I did the interview, I don't remember. And he said, you have to get into politics and you have to say crazy stuff. And he's right. That that's really the way to go. And I think he kind of followed his own advice here, which, by the way, make no mistake about it. Me, Kevin, is <laughs> an absolute grifter, even more so than I originally thought, because Keep in mind, this guy ran as a Democrat, but when you look at his political takes, he clearly tries to lean Republican or kind of, you know, make it seem like he's Republican or align with the Republican side, which is hilarious because it's like, dude, you literally ran as a Democrat in the state of California. But I already told you guys why he's doing that. Most of the people who watch finance content are Trump supporters and Republicans. Not a whole lot of Democrats out there watching finance content. They're too busy yelling on the internet about how Biden should forgive their loans and Bernie Sanders should be president, you know, stuff like that. So it ain't a whole lot of uh, Democrats out there. Don't get me wrong. There are some, I mean, I'm a Democrat and I care about investing. So don't get me wrong. There are some, but when it comes to, you know, how many more people are in this space versus the other, there are way more Republicans that go on YouTube and look for stocks and finance content and personal finance and investing way more that align as Republicans and vote Republican than our Democrats. That's all I'm really saying here. Now to get into the drama here. So here's what happened. Me, Kevin made this video right here, exposing a multi-billion dollar fraud featuring Vivek Ramaswamy for president. Here's more of the video right here. And yeah, well, first of all, that video didn't even still didn't get that many views. He's at 40 K views. Remember this guy's 1.8 million subscribers, but let me show you guys something interesting. So let's go ahead and look at Twitter. Oh, by the way, I just want to make it clear. The reason why I don't feel bad for Kevin is because uh, Kevin threatened to sue me. Uh, but I just want to make it clear. If Vivek ever decided to sue Kevin because he's basically alleging that he's a scammer, um, Vivek would destroy this guy. Because I get it. Me, Kevin's rich compared to us poor peasants. I get it. But listen here, folks. When it comes to this rich thing, when it comes to the, the world of wealth and capitalism and money and power, there's levels to this, okay? Me, Kevin is a small fish compared to the real big boys. OK, me, Kevin's net worth is like 20 million, even though I would argue it's really not because he bought a 13 million dollar plane. So he's a multimillionaire, but me, Kevin's net worth probably isn't even 20 million at this point. But let's just be nice. Let's give him that. Let's say his net worth is 20 million. You guys want to know what Vivek Ramaswamy's net worth is? Six hundred and thirty million dollars. The guy is like creeping up on billionaire status. He's insanely wealthy. He is so wealthy. If he ever decided he just wanted to really go after Kevin and ruin his life and ruin his career, he could absolutely go after him and at the very least make him spend a lot of money. And, you know, Kevin would have to spend millions of dollars to defend himself. And Vivek would be fine because he's got six hundred and thirty million dollars in assets. You know, he's fine. So. Uh, and, and let me show you guys more of the trick. This is, this is where Kevin kind of exposed himself. So this is what Kevin said. First, Kevin posted a video. I guess I'll scroll down even more. So Kevin posted that video on Instagram. But since he's a grifter, he also wants to get those Twitter grifter bucks because, you know, Twitter pays creators for posting videos now. 
So now he's posting on Twitter. So Kevin basically posted this video right here that says exposing a multi-million dollar, I'm sorry, a multi-billion dollar fraud featuring Vivek Ramaswamy. Then he made fun of him again and basically said that uh, Vivek is copying Donald Trump Jr.'s tweets, which I, I don't know who would copy Donald Trump Jr.'s tweets. There's nothing special about what he tweets. Uh, I think Trump's kids are stupid, except for the girl. What's her name, Ivanka? Except for her. I think she's the only one that has some sort of intelligence. Her and Barron, the other two, stupid. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is where I told you guys that uh, Kevin is doing the oldest trick in the book. He said, hey, Vivek, a lot of people support you, and it would show good faith to respond to these historical findings. I'm open to an interview streamed on YouTube slash X or in person. Either way, responding will give people more truth, which you say you run your campaign on. Now, this is the weirdest way, in my opinion, to try and get somebody on your channel. I mean, he has a big enough following where I'm pretty sure Kevin could just message Vivek and just say, hey, dude. Why don't you come on my channel? Let's have a debate. And then when he comes to your channel, then you bring these allegations up. I think he went about it the wrong way for a multitude of reasons. Number one, Kevin is a grifter himself and has zero credibility in the finance space. So even though his fan base is going to meet ride him and, you know, they're going to, oh, my God, you're amazing. Everything you do is great. Oh, you exposed him. You did great. I think majority of the finance community is just kind of looking at this like either a they don't care, which is why the video doesn't can't even get 50K views. And the guy has one point eight million subscribers. And B, I think a lot of people are just like a lot of people are just kind of like, you know, like. You've already ruined your credibility. Like, why would I trust you to expose a scammer when you yourself, Kevin Helmut Pathraff, caused so many people to lose a crap ton of money because some of the awful things that you did? And it's funny because I guess somebody who's like a has a pretty high position in Vivex campaign responded to Kevin. And this guy basically ethered Kevin. It was actually really funny. Here it is right here. So, of course, Kevin gets an orgasm over it. He's like, holy crap. The deputy comms director for Vivek Ramaswamy just responded to my allegations. Zero response to the allegations. Instead, strings together allegations attacking my credibility for old news that's over. Is this how you're going to run the Oval Office? Disgusting. Now, first, I want to say, even though Kevin's not a dumb guy, I definitely think that Vivek is a lot more sharp, a lot more intelligent, and just a little bit more quicker when it comes to the responses, when it comes to how he talks, they meet Kevin is. So I think that if Vivek went on meet Kevin's channel, I think it would absolutely destroy him. If they ever had like some sort of debate, I think Vivek would destroy him. But what's funny about this is the deputy comms director for Vivek Ramaswamy's campaign did respond to Kevin. And this is all he said. And it's hilarious because one, this isn't even a full laundry list of everything Kevin's done. And two, it's just hilarious how even people, I mean, for crying out loud, this is a politics guy. Look at his bio. Deputy comms director, right wing culture warrior. This guy's not a finance guy at all. He's literally in politics, and even he knows how much of a scumbag me Kevin is, and that's what makes this so funny. So look at his laundry list. He said not really to Kevin. He said not really. Exposing Democrat at real me Kevin. Being sued for $1 billion. He settled, by the way, guys. I already posted an update on that like a month or so ago. But yeah, Kevin already settled that. So I don't think he's being sued anymore. I think Kevin already settled. I have no idea how much he settled for. But anyway, he did get sued by $1 billion for promoting FTX. Uh, number two, paid to pump up FTX official before its collapse. That's true. He was one of those idiots who was pumping uh, FTX. People lost their life savings. Uh, yeah, that's true. People did lose their life savings in FTX. Uh, paid to promote a guy charged with eight federal counts of defrauding customers, laundering money and violating campaign finance laws. Yeah. I mean, you could say that you didn't know that all you want, which is what Kevin and Graham, Stephan, and Andre Drake say. They like, oh, we didn't know. We didn't know. You could say that all you want. But at the end of the day, there's really no excuse. It still looks bad. Even if you say you didn't know, make up all the excuses you want. It still looks bad that you got paid to promote a company that was ran by a guy that is being charged with eight federal counts of defrauding customers, laundering money and violating campaign finance laws. Let's keep reading. Paid to tell people to invest with SVF, who in turn donated 70 million with most to mostly the Democrats. That's actually not true. That part's not true. Um, he did donate to Democrats. And don't get me wrong. I'm not defending the Democrats here. Um. But I just want to say that uh, he did the, he did donate to the Republicans, too. He made that very clear. He just donated it via dark money. He did it in a different way where it's not as easy to track. Then it says here, Kevin is a failed Democratic candidate for office. Yeah, that's also true. As a matter of fact, Kevin did so bad, he ran in a completely Democratic state, and he couldn't even get more votes than Larry Elder. <laughs> and Larry Elder is a Republican running in a Democratic state, so that was funny. He's mortified about being sued for this video. 
Oh, this guy. So this guy is basically alluding to the fact that it's possible that Vivek Ramaswamy could sue me, Kevin, for this video. Well, there you go. The deputy council director has spoken. You know how funny that would be if Vivek sued Kevin? Like I said, Vivek has a net worth of $600 million, guys. He would destroy Kevin. Looks like someone beat him to the punch, already suing him for $1 billion. Trust this guy. And then he posted the link of uh, the $1 billion thing. So that's where I come in. By the way, to Vivek's campaign, um, I'm not a fan of me, Kevin, at all. I've gone after him for a very long time on this channel. If you want to reach out, and you got any questions about Kevin, feel free to reach out. I got everything you need. By the way, uh, there's this amazing live stream I did where Kevin basically exposed everything you need to know about the guy. Uh, he came on my channel. It's like the most viewed live stream I have. Anyway, Vivex team, if you ever watch this, <laughs> uh, feel free to reach out. I got plenty of dirt on this Kevin guy. He's definitely uh, a clown. And I will say this. Uh, I did watch Kevin's allegations unto Vivek Ramaswamy. Um, they were not bad. I mean, he did a good job putting it together. Don't get me wrong. Like he, he put it together. He clearly did some research, but the problem is I just have no idea if it's true or not. Uh, I haven't really looked into it myself because come on, who the heck would take Kevin Hill, my path rap seriously. Uh, Kevin's basically trying to be like CoffeeZilla and expose a, a, a purported alleged scammer is what Kevin is calling it. He's basically saying that Vivek Ramaswamy is a, a scammer who scammed people and made a lot of money doing it, which is hilarious because it's like, uh, Kevin, um, what is it? Don't don't throw stones at a glass when you live in a glass house or whatever. Like, uh, Kevin, did you forget all the things you did? Like, <laughs> you're not the cleanest guy in finance yourself, buddy. As a matter of fact, you, Kevin is one of the most hated guys in finance. There are two people who are the two of the most hated people in finance. It's Kevin and it's Jeremy Lefebvre. Kevin, I would say, is actually more hated than Jeremy because of some of the things that Kevin does. But ultimately, who the heck is going to listen to a grifter slang scam exposing video from one of the biggest grifters in the history of the freaking world? Like Kevin is a freaking grifter. I've proven it so many times. I've given more than enough evidence. I've showed my case. And I just think it's hilarious that he's now going after Vivek Ramaswamy, who, by the way, I actually think is a pretty good candidate. I like Vivek a lot more than I like Trump, just to be completely honest. Like, I don't think Vivek's a good guy. I mean, I don't think Vivek's a bad guy. I, I think Vivek is actually a good guy. In terms of the scam allegations, I have no idea. But I do sincerely hope that Vivek goes on me, Kevin's channel, because that would just be so hilarious to just watch me, Kevin, get destroyed by this guy. Because I'm telling you, Vivek is really intelligent. He is smart. I really think Vivek would destroy me, Kevin. I really do. I think he would wreck this dude uh, if it ended up happening. But, hey, maybe, you know, maybe he ends up getting exposed. I don't know. The question here, where do we go from here, is will Vivek end up suing me, Kevin, which would be absolutely hilarious considering me, Kevin, threatened to sue me uh, numerous times. So it would be funny to see if Vivek ends up suing him, and it would also be funny to see Vivek go on me, Kevin's channel, and just absolutely destroy him. Will Vivek go on there? If you guys want my honest opinion, probably not. Like I said, he's worth $600 million. He's a pretty strong candidate running for president. He was polling very low at the beginning, but he's starting to step up. Like he's starting to really climb up there uh, in the polls in some states. And yeah, I just think that Kevin is just some no-name YouTuber who bought a private jet with a bunch of money that he gripped from his followers. So you're taking somebody like that against an accomplished businessman who's running for president. Doesn't really add up to me. So anyway, those are my thoughts regarding the situation with Kevin exposing this uh, presidential candidate. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.